my name is Chelsea Carter and I'm here in Washington DC to meet with my senator to talk about issues that are really important to me. I'm not only a recovering addict, but I'm also a treatment provider, somebody who's graduated from drug court, and someone who tries to give people hope who are still sick and suffering in the world of addiction. Thank you so much for meeting with me today. I really appreciate it more than you will ever know. I have a few questions. Okay. Now, I know you have seen how the opioid crisis has just devastated West Virginia. Communities have been torn apart, families have been torn apart. What programs and policies do you see that could help West Virginia and go across the country? I always say that there's not one single solution to this. We have to have treatment and recovery, we have to have uh, naloxone availability, uh, we have to have drug courts that help, um, as you know, you're a successful uh, drug court graduate. There's just whole things that we need to do, and, and I see a lot of good things happening in West Virginia uh, in response to this, but uh, it, it's, there's no one single thing. When I was in jail, I had no hope, but when I found drug court and the judge gave me a second chance at life, it was like I found people who were willing to fight for me when I wasn't willing to fight for myself. After drug court, I was able to go on and get my master's degree. So when I first met you and I shared my story, I could tell you were very, strongly supportive of drug courts and really for recovery and treatment. I, I have friends who's, who've lost children to this disease and, you know, young adults. And um, my kids' friends that they grew up with. Uh, and, and it just, uh, that is sort of the driver for me to try to find a solution. So I went to a drug uh, court graduation in Putnam County after I met you, just to sort of see firsthand. And here's one thing that surprised me about it. There was a group sitting in, um, well, it was the jury, the jury box, because we were in the courtroom, but, you know, so 12 people. All 12 of those people were part of the support group for these three uh, men that were trying to put their lives back together. And a lot of these folks were volunteering beyond their regular job to be a part of this drug court. I found that really inspiring myself. From somebody who's recently lost somebody, it's really hard. He was in treatment and then got out and three weeks later he passed away. It's really hard <clears throat> when you watch people and especially people you love die. This affects everybody. And I I think it's so wonderful that that on a national level we're getting help to see that things are being put in place to help this problem because it's it's not gonna stop overnight. This is a tragedy of a generation. We don't even know what the long-term effects are of that. We're working on a lot of things. Over the last two years here in the Senate and, and really with um, President's signature, we, we created two sort of buckets of uh, uh, funding. It's called 21st Century Cures, which, which really deals with treatment and recovery. But we also uh, passed a bill called Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act. Uh, it supports uh, naloxone availability, it supports education and prevention, uh, it supports um, better prescribing or, or being able to track prescriptions. Now, there's not one single solution here. So you have to look at all these different array of solutions and, and recovery models that are going to help people. I want to thank you for meeting with me today. It means so much to have someone at the national level, especially fighting for people where I live in West Virginia and where you live in West Virginia to try to help out this problem, not only there, but nationally, so thank you. Thank you.